Welcome into New York Giants Now by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Marshall Green. We're about to get into a mailbag which aired on our live show that goes down every single Wednesday. So subscribe and turn your notifications on so when we go live on Wednesdays, you can be there. It's a hard hat type of day. Bring your hard hat. Let's go. First one coming in from Mr. NY Stadium BD4. Mr. NY Stadium, I just followed you back on Twitter. And I sent you a DM because I missed your DM from weeks ago because I am an idiot. But I gave you a follow back. Should the Giants sign DeAndre Hopkins? Well, DeAndre Hopkins is under contract until 2025. But if you mean trade for him, that's going to be a little bit tougher because I don't see the Arizona Cardinals moving on from a guy like DeAndre Hopkins. Look, maybe for a first-round pick. Are the Giants really in the camp of wanting to give up a first-round pick for a 30-year-old wide receiver who's been injured the past couple of years and just got suspended for steroid use. There's no doubt about it that DeAndre Hopkins is one of the most talented players to ever play the wide receiver position. I just wouldn't want to have to give up the draft capital it would take to land a guy like D-Hop. But <laughs> Mr. NY Stadium, it'd be awesome to see D-Hop with New York. Uh, I would love to see it. If it ever happened, we'd party on this channel, but I don't know. I don't know if that one's going to happen. But I appreciate your question, my guy. Ricky! $2 super chat. Real one. DJ Moore or DK Metcalf for Galladay? Um, no one's going to trade for Kenny Galladay. He, his value is at an all-time low. No one's going to trade for him. If I had to pick between DJ Moore or DK Metcalf, I'd probably roll with DK Metcalf. But I don't think he's on the trade block. DJ Moore is probably not on the trade block easier, but it's going to be more easy to attain in a trade. So i choose DJ Moore. There's rumors supposedly we're interested. I don't know. We'll find out. You guys know we'll keep you up to date on the latest Giants news and rumors. Mikey, what up, bro? You think the Panthers would agree to a swap of KG? Nah, no, not a chance. Not a chance. Kenny Galladay sucks. Uh, his contract's super expensive, and he's not good. A fourth rounder and Kenny Galladay for DJ Moore, they block your number. Mikey, it's going to take a second and third round pick at the, at, at the least. I think they're going to want a first round pick. He's a 25-year-old superstar wide receiver, and they're looking to do a rebuild. You don't just trade great players, especially at the wide receiver position when you're trying to find a quarterback. I get the idea. It's just, nah, not a chance. The big move. How much of an advantage do you think we have because of Wink? A huge advantage. I mean, look, there's not a better defensive coordinator to have than one like D uh, Wink Martindale when you're playing against the Ravens, his previous stop. He's been a defensive coordinator for the Ravens the entire career of Lamar Jackson. So there is one guy who knows what Lamar Jackson does not like to face. It's Wink Martindale. We've got, a, we've got a pocket aces in our back pocket right now trying to game plan around Lamar Jackson. It's still going to be tough. He's still a damn good uh, quarterback, but we might have the secret recipe with Wink Martindale. Ricardo, a $5 super chat. Ricardo, I appreciate you, my guy. What about free agents? Mohamed Sanu, T.Y. Hilton, Mike Wallace, Michael Crabtree, Emmanuel Sanders, no draft picks attached, nothing to lose anybody else. I could see the Giants going the route of signing a wide receiver in free agency. Um... Manuel Sanders said he retired, but he does have some ties to Brian Dable. Cole Beasley said he retired. He's got some ties to Brian Dable. Um, we did a wide receiver free agent targets video last week. Some guys I had on there were Tavon Austin, Alex Bachman. Um, I had T.Y. Hilton on there. There were some other guys on there as well. Ricardo, check it out on the channel. We did a wide receiver free agent target video but look, if you could sign a wide receiver that can contribute, Ricardo, you absolutely do it. Just all comes down to the dollars because right now the Giants are up against the salary cap. Austin Allen, 33. Should the Giants trade Kadarius Toney? I mean, who, who's going to trade for him? What are you going to get back? Um, This would feel like punting on Kadarius Toney a little bit too soon. Um, but how many chances are we going to give the guy? I love Kadarius Tony as a football player, but I want to see him play freaking football. Like, he has to play football. I don't know. I'll ask you guys, though. What to do with Kadarius Tony? Type T for trade, type K for keep. 
Let me know. What would you do with Kadarius Tony if you were Joe Shane? Type T for trade. Type K for keep. Jessica, what's good? Who's the player that's going to step up next week and win the game for us? I think it's going to be Daniel Jones. The Baltimore Ravens have the worst pass defense in the National Football League. Daniel Jones needs to air it out. The Ravens are giving up, on average, 290 passing yards per week. This is the week that you let Danny die. Let Daniel Jones throw the ball. Let him beat the Ravens with his arm and not his leg. But that also comes back to the, fr to the front five. Can the offensive line protect him? That's what it's going to come down to. I think Daniel Jones is going to step up and help us win this football game. Paul, I'm liking how Fabian Morrow. Yeah, he played really good last week. He played like 52 snaps last week. He was targeted twice, didn't allow a catch, didn't allow any yards. Fabian Morrow has been a good pickup by Joe Shane. He had some ties to Wink Martindale. I'm impressed. I'd like to see him as our third corner. I wish Aaron Robinson wouldn't have got hurt. Hopefully, Adoree Jackson comes back this week. But I am very, very impressed, Paul, with the way Fabian Morrow has played so far this year. Five! I got five on it. Mike Francis, an OG. LFG, Marshy. I think 10 and 7. But as of now, what is your record prediction for our final wins and losses for the new York football Giants. I'm going to pull up the schedule here, and we will go game by game of the Giants' schedule the rest of the way. So right now you're at 4-1. and one. You play Baltimore this week. That's going to be tough. I think the Giants will win. But let's say they lose. 4-2, and two, right? Trace, remember that. 4-2. and two. I have the Giants beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. 5-2. and two. I have the Giants beating the Seattle Seahawks, 6-2. I have the Giants beating the Houston Texans, 7-2. I have the Giants beating the Detroit Lions, 8-2. Then you got the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving, 8-3. I say that's a loss. I think you beat Washington, 9-3. Then you play the Eagles. I'll say you split with the Eagles so you lose the first one, 9-4. Then you play Washington again. Let's say you split because it is the NFC East. Let's not get too crazy. Let's say you split. What's that, 9-5? and five? Then you play Minnesota. Minnesota's a good football team, guys. I'm wanting the Giants to win every game. So let's go 9-6. and six. Then you got Indy. I think you could beat Indy. That's 10-6. and six. Then you got the Eagles. You can go 10-7 and seven, or you can go 11-6. and six. That's where I have the Giants right now, Mike. I think that's where it's close to. 10-7, and 11-6. and six. Look, just go 500 the rest of the way, and you're going to make the freaking football. You're going to make the playoffs this year. Appreciate the super chat, Mike. Mike, be a real one. Go to chatsports.com slash bet, our proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. When you go to chatsports.com slash bet and you use that promo code chat125, they're going to hook you guys up with a 125% deposit bonus. Get started today, chatsports.com slash bet, promo code chat125, our proud sportsbook partner, BetUS. Two, two. Two twos in the building. Massive salute to Big Boss Marshy and for all the diehard Giants fans around the world. Slap all the stinky boys and losers out of here. Dying F and all F the Ravens. F the Ravens. Two two. I love you, brother. Good to see you back in the chat. Corinne, do you think OBJ is trolling teams saying he's interested just to get the Rams to lock him in? Not a bad thought, Corinne. I, I ultimately think this year. Odell Beckham is either going to sign with the Green Bay Packers or re-sign with the L.A. Rams. And we got this next question, too, we'll ask. Do you think the OBJ would come back to the Giants? So I'll answer both these questions. I do think OBJ is playing it right. He's, draw he's boosting up his value. He's making some drama happen on Twitter, teasing Giants fans. I do think Odell Beckham Jr. would come back to the Giants. It's just right now, the Giants don't really have the cap space to make it happen. But next year, in the 2023 offseason, Odell Beckham Jr. is absolutely going to be on the Giants' radar when they have some of the most cap space to use in NFL free agency. I think there's a chance the Giants could sign him this year. I don't think it's very high. I think next year there's a really, really good chance we could see Odell Beckham back with the New York Giants. I'll ask you guys this question to get out of here. Last question of the show. Do you want OBJ on the Giants? Type OBJ for yes. Or you could type no BJ. You could turn down no BJ. No BJ for no. OBJ for yes. No BJ for no. Let me know what you think in the comment section right now.